What's up fellow gamers, welcome to... There's no time to lose, this is going to be my any% percent speedrun for Super Meat Boy. If you do not know what an any% percent speedrun is, it's basically completing the game as quickly as possible. It does not matter how many bandages we end up collecting, it does not matter how many levels we finish or even which levels we finish, all that matters really is getting to the final boss and beating him in the shortest amount of time possible. For the first chapter it's not very spectacular, even the smaller mistakes will force me to restart the entire run, because it's just not worth it to ruin a good time because of a few stupid mistakes on the first couple of chapters. But the more I advance in Super Meat Boy, the bigger the mistakes may be. A risky jump coming up, so I will shut up. Good. Okay, that, that almost went wrong at the end, but still, very happy if I can do this on my first attempt. After this one, Blood Mountain, I will do something a little funky. I will exit to the map, skip Cactus Jumper, why go straight to Sidewinder? Well, no one likes Cactus Jumper, it's a very long and a very annoying level, and this is allowed, you can totally skip any level if you feel like it. Instead of Cactus Jumper, we do this one, which is super fast. With that, we have unlocked Little Slugger, the first boss. A very easy boss fight, if you can even call it that. It's more of a boss chase, and a very one-sided chase at that. We can't even see Dr. Fetus behind us anymore. We even have to wait here for a few seconds until he joins us again. And when he does... We fall under his robot. That's how you do it. Meat Boy doesn't even care. We don't have to care about the dark world either, we can go straight to the hospital. Biohazard. My strategy for this is... Stop go. And stop go. And one jump to Bandage Girl. One down you can pretty much skip entirely by doing that. Memories is a level I personally dislike because of these tiny jumps you have to do. but. I did it fairly well anyway. You can use this fan here to get all the way up to Banish Girl, and then Big Empty, which is literally a big empty. Use this fan once again to get all the way to the end. Here, one huge wall jump into Banish Girl, uh, into Banish Girl, into that gap, and then into Banish Girl. This is a very straightforward level and one of my favorites. It's that easy. Here you can actually go under the platforms, as I just did, and then proceed to simply speedrun through the rest of the level. Blood Swamp. There's a skip, or a very risky strategy here, but I will not do it. I do want to play a few levels safer than I probably should, just so I don't so just so I'm not too nervous during this run. Ghost key, wait for the opportune moment to jump through. And here, for above, don't forget to get Bandage Girl from the left side. That's much faster. Now this one is one I dislike as well, because I die fairly often, because I try to be too fast. And now this one is by far my least favorite, the hospital level. Get the key and into the hole. Okay, good. Okay, I did that correctly, I weaved around that purple blob. Now the last two levels, both of which use these lasers, which aren't a problem at all. Jump here, just to be safe so you don't die, and then worm food the last one. Wait for this laser, go up, and here you have to be a bit faster, so you can skip the second one, like so. Let's go to the second boss, Chad. For Chad, you want to do something very specific. You want to uh, not have to wait for the level to auto-scroll. You want to be really fast here by getting that first key really quickly and 
that that makes it so that it doesn't wait until it auto scrolls. It auto scrolls immediately, and of course that makes this whole boss fight go uh, much faster. And that was it. Chapter number two complete. Let's go to the Salt Factory. Pit Stop. I really hope that I can do this first jump. Yep, that was very good and... Not perfect, but still very good. Now here, always jump from left to right, from wall to wall. Never stick to only one wall, because that's much slower if you all jump like that. And here, I jump around on these little things so I don't have to use this moving floor too much. I hate uh, that floor. And then here, okay, that was risky, but it still worked. And get Banished Girl, that was very good. Uptown, that was bad and slow, but here you can use this one to get all the way up to Banished Girl. And now the shaft, just go up and wall jump into your girlfriend. Mind the Gap is a level I really, really despise because it's so long and it's so boring. And that was bad. But yeah, nothing happens. And it's too long. Now here, the first time we see the rockets, not a problem. You don't really have to actively avoid them. Just go through the level and, and just ignore uh, the, the rockets. And okay, good. Now Breakdown. Very... Obvious, it's obvious what you have to do. Break these crumbling blocks and then get Banished Girl. Simple as that. Box Stripper is a very fun level. For most of these levels, once you know what to do, you pretty much get through every single time. Mistakes always happen, of course, but for this one example, you can go, you, you can stay at the right side all the time and there's no problem. Now the bend. Uh. I hate doing this, but I will not do a skip here. I will actually play it safe, because now you could go under the saw and finish it maybe two seconds earlier, but I hate that. I die way too often, so I will take those two seconds, I will not, I will not do this as fast as I can, but who cares. I don't think that two seconds will uh, be anything important at the end. And here you can just go up, like that. For this level, there's also a very awesome skip, and if you can do this skip, you are awesome. You can, right now, get to Banish Girl by wall jumping. But how I do is I do a mini skip like that. Rustic, left, right, left, right, and then key, another key, and then up, and that's it. Good. Chapter 3 complete. Of course, Brownie is still left, and here I will do a skip. Oh my god, that's beautiful. It, I love it if it works the first time. And that, it's, it's as simple as that. That was boss number three, Brownie. Completely skipped the boss fight. Now hell. Hell may be one of the easiest chapters to do. By the way, I skipped this. Uh, I skipped level two because it's too long. Uh, but yeah, as I, as I was saying, chapter f that was bad. Chapter four, hell may be the easiest one to do at the moment, at least to speedrun. Everything else is still so unsafe, and I feel really bad when playing it. This one, by the way, you can also speedrun much faster. But I I've decided to do it the slow and safe way and yeah the hell isn't that bad i don't die at hell anymore which is really awesome i'm only afraid of the rapture at the end really now rickets is a level with probably the weirdest saw movements in the game and now the last one uh before the hell gets really simple okay i did that jump correctly and now we are in a very safe zone. Use the platforms and don't be too fast here, maybe. Take your time so you don't fall into the lava. And then fall onto the platform. And here, be super fast. Yes. Oh, that was beautiful. Very, very good. 
Here you can actually skip using the portals again by this, by doing this one huge wall jump. And then here, I always wall jump off the beginning because I think you're faster that way. And then I wall jump off again and we are done. Lazy, an interesting level, get the key. And I actually don't go all the way around. You can just go up again and then you don't have to use the left side uh, once more. Now here, as you can see, I'm doing these simple skips. They aren't dangerous at all. If you do them a few times, then they are no problem. And it looks very good. We are at a very good time. Here you can just go up like that, super easy. And then through the portal, don't die to the sauce and one wall jump into Banished Girl. Very good. Now we will go to the hive because we've skipped the second level. And the hive is super easy and super fast. Yeah, just go right and left, right and left, and then to Banish Girl. Now we are at Little Horn, the boss in hell. Probably the cheapest boss because he's pure trial and error. You have to know what he does and when he does it. He always does the same thing, of course. So for speedrunning, he's very boring. I even take the time to paint the whole platform red, because why not? And now you, you, can stand, you, you can stay here, by the way, and you're absolutely safe for that attack. Then he will use his right fist, jump over that again. And now you are pretty much done with the boss fight. All you have to do is stand on your safe spot once more, and now it's done. The boss fight is over. And he does the same thing again, right, left, right, left, from his perspective, of course. And that was it. Boss number four, the meat golem, complete. Okay, Rapture, uh, I'm afraid. Rapture is a very hard chapter. The Witness, because everything is white here, as you saw. I will use a safe strategy like this. I will actually slow down here. So I, I am still in a good timing. I know what to do and when to do it. The white screen just makes me unable to do anything awesome. So I will do this as slowly as I did. Now here, Ripe Decay. This is where things start to get very dangerous. A lot of saws, a lot of dangerous situations. I have to wait here now. I don't want to be too fast for my own good. Rise. You can actually go into that corner on the right side now. And I think that's faster if you then wall jump all the way to here. But okay. I've done it like that. Why not? Now here, activate the button. And then wait for this wall to disappear. Get the button and done. Left behind. Okay, now we have the buttons, which I don't dislike. Uh, the buttons are dangerous because for a speedrun, if you miss one, or if you miss a key, for example, like here, then... hang on. Okay, then you pretty much have to restart the run because it's just as bad as dying. Of course, for normal Super Meat Boy gameplay, it doesn't matter, but for speedrunning, missing a key or a button is fatal. And that's really good. I always listen to the music and sound cues. And now I know, normally when that music, that part of the song in the background plays, I normally start with the scent. But here, I was almost done with half of that level. Oh no! What the hell? I hate, I hate the zombies or the abominations. I'm not even sure if they are the abominations or if that level is the abomination. Both are abominations. They are not pure RNG, I suppose. You can sorta of understand them. I hate them. And they ruined this good run. They absolutely ruined it. Now wait here, get the key. And... Well, oh my god, that was so close as well. I almost... I didn't think when jumping. That was really lucky that I didn't mess it up. Now here, get the button. Get up. 
Very good. Okay. Okay, this isn't over. This isn't over. I, I said this isn't... Dude. Oh my... The warp zone even went away. That has never happened to me before. At least I got to the platform immediately. That was good. But still, this is slowly all falling apart. This run. It's still okay. I'm looking at the time. It's okay. Or actually, it's good. It's better than average. Here, by the way, King Carrion, if you fall down that gap, you always hit that platform perfectly, which is why I do it. And that was very good. Okay. Okay. Things are starting to look up again. Things are... Uh, repairing themselves. I'm fixing the mistakes I've made. Rotgut, you can skip the whole level like this. And then the kingdom. Yes. And jump. And that was it. That was the rapture. If I die here, it's... Yeah, it would be... It's unthinkable to die there. And now the last boss. Larry's Lament. Okay, the hard part is done, now it's all about RNG. Okay, no, they didn't jump into the saw. Yes? Okay, okay, that's really good. Please jump into the saw, Larry. No, that's not jumping into the saw. Please jump into the saw, Larry. Please jump into the saw, Larry. Yes! Rapture has sort of crippled this run. Which is good, because now I'm not nervous anymore, because this run isn't too important. But at the same time, this run has been crippled, and it's not good. It's not a good time. But it's probably still my best time I've ever had. The pit. You can do a cool uh, Keela skip. Nope. Yes. Okay. Now here, uh, jump before falling down, and you're much faster can slide all the way down and then hop 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 good get the key and then up this isn't bad well of course it's bad but it's not too bad as long as i don't die and as long as i don't waste more than 10 seconds this is still a run that can be sub 20 and that's what i'm going for and i think it's really possible right now Get the key, and then jump, j Oh my god, what am I doing? I am so bad. That, that probably wasted five seconds. That alone has wasted five seconds. Gently, gently please, don't die. Don't die at gently. It's a very easy level. Just jump here, then jump over the platform, uh, jump over the saw. And then we're pretty much done. If I die here... No, that, that would be unthinkable. Dying on gently... No. Omega, on the other hand, is a very important level for this run. Okay, I've decided to play a bit safe there. I probably shouldn't have done that. That wasted, I'm not sure, one or two seconds. The last few saw jumps. Oh! Dr. Fetus, let's do this. Oh, I'm, I'm actually really nervous. Even though this run wasn't good, well, it, it's good, but it's not that extremely good either. I'm still very nervous. And yeah, you can see this whole boss fight. I will wait here for a couple of seconds just to be extra safe. You can jump over the saws and then it's done. There's not much left that can kill you. You even have to wait here for I don't even know half a minute. You have to wait a long time. I'm going to wall jump a little bit to maybe calm down. Being nervous is very Oh, the saws are already here. I'm so lucky that I got the button. That was really stupid. Okay, I won't die, because if you stand on a button, you are invincible. Come on, the chase. This has to work. This isn't hard. Jump, and... Okay. 
one more jump, then fall here. Okay, this is done. This is it. Oh my god. Yes! That's it. Awesome run. I'm very happy with this. I'm looking at my timer. That run took 20 minutes. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you liked this video. And until next time, take care.